Okay, so we're starting from this position here again. I'm gonna show another setup from the hip hopper. The guy's gonna start putting his leg outside, right? And he's gonna put the knee on the ground here. What am I gonna do? My, sh my shin's again dropping here like we did before, right? And I'm gonna keep my hand there, but my elbow is gonna close here like I showed. I'm gonna push him a little so I can get my hand underneath here. Look how I'm getting my, my elbow all the way to get my hand through his leg like that, right? So as I'm getting here, my hand's gonna drop here and I'm gonna push and kick him. Look, see how I'm kicking him here? And then I'm gonna start rotating this way here. As I'm rotating here, this time, I'm gonna start to, to get, get his lapel. Since I didn't have to pull him all the way there. So I'm gonna hold the lapel here and give it to this hand, right? Um, when I do this, it's not like this here. It is really important, right? It's a little detail, but everybody always get confused when I show. Look, the thumb is not here. Look, my four fingers is inside his gi. See how, how it's only the tip of the, of the fingers that is here? Look, it's inside. See here how I rotate all the way. It's like I'm trying to, it's like I'm trying to touch his, his uh, armpit, right? So I'm here, I rotate, and I come here. Look how I get him, you see? So as I'm doing this, I'm grabbing his knee. So I grab his knee here, right? What am I gonna do now? My, my knee's still tight here. I'm gonna bump him up, so I'm gonna start to, look, you see here? All the way to this side. He, him here, uh, what I'm gonna do is turn my body as I pull the lapel towards me. It's really important for me to be pulling the lapel when I bump him, right? Some people will say, oh, what about he, if he triangles you? It's, it's important for me to, when I'm, when I'm doing this here, I'm pulling this here. Look, I'm pulling this tight. So when he starts to triangle me, triangle me here, look, it's locked there. You see here? Even if he, if he, even if he shoots the leg, shoot the leg there, look, I can still go towards him with my elbow very tight here. You see how I'm closing my knee? Then I can come here, or I can go to the other side. Okay, so he started putting the knee, right? I start blocking here. I push him a little bit and get my hand all the way through. I start to push him and as I kick and I rotate here, right? I come here with my hand, hold his lapel, come with my hand inside his gi, almost like touching his armpit and I get his lapel with my, all my fingers inside, right? I'm gonna start to hold his knee here and I'm gonna go through here. My back is straight on the ground. Um, one thing that I didn't say before, that the guy cannot be forward here. I cannot try to do this from here. You see, because from here, he will be able to triangle me. Because if I start doing from here, look, even if I drop him, his, his way is still forward because my elbow is not being able to close. Look, when I do it from here and, and his arm is like this, it's really hard for me to close my elbow. Even though if I close, when I do this, look, I can't close my elbow, my elbow stays like that. When I go from here and his way is here, I am able to close my elbow really easy. So as I'm doing this, look, you see here, so my elbow is closed. Even when he throws the leg, I can still keep my hip, pulling his lapel and coming to the top. Of course, all this in one motion.